My name is David Brevik, and I am President and CEO of Gazillion. I did Diablo and Diablo 2. I've come here to Gazillion to do the Marvel Heroes game. I'm a huge Marvel fan. We want to make something very different than the other MMOs. Most MMOs create your own character, and oftentimes you do not know who these people are, and uh, they don't have any backstory and any kind of relationships with other characters, and so it loses a lot of the depth. We're combining the, an action game, an action RPG, with an MMO, which has really never been done before. And so taking those two things creates a unique experience that's very different than other things. And then top it off, it's all going to be free, which is just absurd. So we have lots of locations and objects that people are familiar with in, when they read Marvel comics. We have places like the Savage Land and Hell's Kitchen and Sinister's Lab, many locations that we've read and known and love. We take that to the next level and we've got randomness thrown in, which really creates this sense of exploration and discovery that makes a fresh experience every single time you play it. So we didn't decide on just doing one look. Because we have access to all of these characters, we also have access to all of these costumes. Take Spider-Man, for instance. Spider-Man has had his new Future Foundation costume. He has Iron Spider that Iron Man made him. He has black suit. You know, it, it, there are many, many suits that he's had over the years. And to take all of those and put those into a game that allows this customization, allows you to choose which suit you have, is going to be very compelling. We're telling the majority of the story through motion comics. The motion comics are being drawn by a variety of Marvel artists. It's very exciting, and the story, of course, is being written by Brian Michael Bendis. I think that Marvel fans will find the story extremely compelling, and you can let your imagination run wild with the kind of damage that Doctor Doom can do with the cube. And this isn't just an Avengers game or an X-Men game or something like that. We have access to all the characters in the Marvel Universe, which makes this a really unique game. To learn more information about what we're doing, I suggest visiting MarvelHeroes.com or following us on Facebook. What's up, Marvelites? This is Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M. I'm here at Gazillion headquarters with David Brevik, President and COO of Gazillion. How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. So, exciting, exciting stuff for Marvel Heroes. We're talking about the Founders Program. Yes. Can you give a little detail about that? Well, we're really excited about announcing the Founders Program today. This is a program that allows people to go out and get a particular starting hero or, or all of the heroes, up to all of the heroes that they can start the game with at a huge discount. And uh, it's still a free-to-play game. You can play through the entire thing for free. But this is an opportunity to choose which guy you want to start with. Yeah, it's cool. There, in particular, there's the Ultimate Pack, which is yes. just packed with stuff. Yeah, well, it is the Ultimate Pack. Yeah. That's why <laughs> it is that. So yeah, you get all of the heroes that we've announced, which is great, uh, as well as many, many, many costumes, a ridiculous amount of costumes, uh, as well as some very exclusive costumes. Yeah. Uh, there are, uh, for instance, here Maestro, uh, Hulk is Maestro, uh, Weapon X, uh, Wolverine, and uh, we've got Symbiote Spider-Man, as well as Iron Man 3, the Iron Man 3 armor. We're really, really excited about this. It looks great. It is actually the model from the movie, and so uh, it is as exact as it can be, and to actually have Iron Man 3 stuff in the game is pretty fun. Yeah, but you know, not everybody's going to be able to get the Ultimate Pack, which is fine. You guys have other premium sure. packs as well, right? Absolutely. We have a, a variety of different ones you can choose from, including here, uh, we have a premium packs of Deadpool. Deadpool made us make his own premium pack. I, you know, it's that guy. The, uh, as well as we have other premium packs that you can choose from. A variety of them are, are kind of team ups. Here's an X Men one. Uh, we've got uh, Dark Phoenix in there in the, in the front. So that's all, always fun. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, we haven't really given much in terms of release date, but I think you, you have some news about that, right? Yeah, we're also uh, announcing, well, sort of the release date. It's going to be coming out in the spring, uh, spring 2013, mm -hmm. and we're excited about that. It's just around the corner. Yeah, I mean, that's like super soon because I look <laughs> at my comments and watch. Uh, it you know, is. I've been walking around here, and you guys are in crazy mode, doing so much work all the time, but you've done a lot of work. Your team has done a lot of work on updating mm -hmm. all the characters, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. We've done a variety of de updates, uh, and I think that we're showing off some of the costumes that, uh, that we haven't shown off before today. Here is uh, Wolverine in Days of Future Past, which is, uh, I love that series. Uh, we've got a lot of Marvel Now stuff in the, in the costume, lots of costumes from Marvel Now. Here is Thor. We've got Rocket Raccoon. We've got, uh, as well as Cyclops, all Marvel Now costumes. Rocket Raccoon, one of my favorites. And then, uh, and then here's Jean Grey's Black Queen, uh, also one of my favorites. Just a great one. Yeah, I'm sure your artists had a lot of fun putting oh, those Oh, they together. did. They, they have a ball doing those. <laughs> yeah. uh, in addition to the aesthetic stuff, which also affects the characters, but there's also tons of new power and, and tweaks yeah. that you've been adding to each character, right? Right, yeah. Uh, we made a decision fairly recently, uh, a few months ago, to go back and really take a hard look at what we're doing with the powers, and we decided to really just blow it out and make as many powers for these characters as possible and really create a deeper RPG experience. We have uh, uh, many, many
many of the heroes, we've over doubled all the number of powers that we're, that each one is going to have, and so uh, that was originally planned. And so we created a deeper RPG experience with a lot more variety that you can choose from. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, and I think fans have been able to start experiencing all the, the cool things you guys are putting into it through the the beta, closed beta. Right. Can you talk a little bit about <laughs> the experiences? And also, there's a, a fun thing for fans who get the ultimate pack. Oh yeah, uh, as with the ultimate pack, the first 2,500 people that get the ultimate pack actually get into the closed beta. So that's that's we're guaranteeing their access to the closed beta, which is pretty fun. Yeah, uh, I give out a lot. Of, I'm sorry, but I give out a lot of uh, beta codes on Twitter, yeah. and I know that they're hungry to get in on the closed beta. <laughs> so this is a, a guarantee for those those early adopters. You want to get in there as soon as you can. Yeah, absolutely. They they do go quickly. That's for <laughs> sure. And people are having a lot of fun yeah. in the beta. I think that it's going very well. We're yeah. really pleased with the results, and the feedback's been super positive. Cool. Uh, another cool thing: enhanced costumes, which I, yes. I'm super psyched for. Talk a little bit about those. <laughs> yeah, enhanced costumes are a, l a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to show off a couple of them here today. We've got the symbiote suit for uh, Spider-Man, uh, and what's uh, different about these is that they can include things like different different visual effects. Uh, we can have different animations, uh, different voice, all sorts of things like that that make it more of a you know a huge experience that you, you really feel like you're playing a right. different character. And so I think that that really adds to the depth of these particular costumes. We're also showing off Pirate Deadpool, one of my favorite, and his voice changes. He talks like a pirate, and all of his lines have been re-recorded so that you know he's in pirate speak. They're all done with pirate speak. That's so a, very fun. That's awesome. Uh, so you guys have locked in characters that everyone who plays, because it's free to play, that they're going to be able to choose when they start, right? Yeah, yeah. Fundamentally, this is still a free to play game. And so, you know, uh, you will be able to play through the entire thing for free, never have to pay us a dime. We're going to announce the five starting her heroes that you can choose from uh, off the bat that will be completely free, play through all the content completely free. First one we're going to show, Daredevil, that is one of them that you can choose. Storm is another, a great one. Thing, uh, yeah, it's clobbering <laughs> time. Uh, Scarlet Witch, one of my personal favorites. She plays so so well. She's really a lot of fun. And Hawkeye, uh, another great choice. And uh, so uh, we're really excited about those that starting lineup. We think it's really powerful, and you'll be able to play through all of the content. You'll be able to unlock new heroes and get a lot of the costumes and things like that all completely for free. Awesome. Very cool. All right, where can fans find out more about the Founders Program as well as the game in general? Yeah, uh, well, you can always go to marvelheroes.com to sign up for the beta. You can go to the founders.marvelheroes.com to actually access the Founders Program. And then uh, follow us on Facebook at the Marvel Heroes page and then on Twitter at MMM Society. Rock and roll. Thanks, David. Thank you. Cool. This is Marvel, your universe. In Marvel Heroes, you are playing as the Marvel Heroes, so you're not playing as a knockoff. You are the big guy, so you're Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man. The best thing about this game is that you get to play as your favorite Marvel characters. You get to design them in the way you want them. You have them dressed the way you want them dressed. You have them doing what you want them to do. One of the most important aspects of designing anything in Marvel Heroes is making sure that we're true to the Marvel Universe. So when I'm searching for reference, personally, I will look at the comic books first. That's where the history's at, that's where I get all my ideas. The process of getting a hero into the game spans several departments. So it all starts with a brainstorming meeting. The entire team is brought into a room and they're discussing their thoughts of how a certain character should play and what kind of powers that character should have. From the brainstorming session, the work gets split off into two different departments. The art team figures out how to make the characters look as iconic as we would expect. And the design team comes up with what the powers are going to be. From our brainstorming meeting, designers are then able to come up with a set of powers. The designers will take those powers and put them in the game and get them working as close as they can, then they, they send it down the pipeline. Some of the challenges we have, especially when we're looking at the look, is what is the look of these characters? And they've been portrayed in so many ways throughout the years. There are literally thousands of images in the Marvel comics, and we like to use those as our reference. We digitally sculpt each hero in ZBrush. Every hero's costume is actually a separate digital model. So we try to match the source material as much as we possibly can. In most of the cases, we can hit it pretty dead on in terms of how it looks. On average, it takes us about four days to make a model. Some Sometimes they could take as long as a week or even two weeks. We end up with these super high resolution grayscale 3D models that we then paint and make a texture map, a normal map, and a specular map. Then we build the materials in Unreal so that the different surfaces react to light as you'd expect. After that, we bring the hero into Maya for rigging and animation setup. Rigging is required to make our characters behave naturally. They put constraints on the body so that the animators can move them in believable poses. The things you wouldn't really think of are like 
escape. So for Thor, we'll add bonus state escape. So pretty much, if it moves, it probably needs a skeletal system. Once a model is rigged, it goes to the animation department. They give it run cycles, emotes, and power animations. Basically, every move the hero makes in the game. So once the animations are done, then the effects artist will take that into Unreal, and then they will add the particles and the models and mesh effects, materials, you know, everything to finish off the hammer. So if it's you know, Thor's hammer, we want to support that movement of the spinning and then have the throw and then the electricity of the hammer and everything kind of support it. And then finally, they will go to the audio group who, you know, give all the same sound effects of Spider-Man's web to whip, sounds like Spider-Man's web to whip to kind of put the icing on the cake to make it a full power. One of the things that I'm most proud of in Marvel Heroes is how differently every single hero plays from each other. There are dozens of characters in the game. Um, each one gets a lot of attention, a lot of detail to make sure that they're very unique, a unique play style, unique looks, unique costumes. It's a very different experience, a very different game with each of the different characters you can play as. So in the comic books, you know, you would find that Hulk and Thing look like they would have similar powers in a video game. We've decided that our version of the Thing has a lot of team-oriented skills. The way that he plays ends up being very different than Hulk, who's all about DPS and throwing things and smashing. And, uh, you know, really want to make sure that we find a balanced experience for everybody. So playing as Iron Man, even at level one, we want to make you feel powerful. We want to make sure that he has all the repulsor beams and blasts that you come to expect from the character. And then as you progress him up and get him stronger, uh, he'll have different abilities that you, know, you would find in the movies or the TV shows or the comic books that are that much more powerful than what you had to begin with. When you put a point into the power trees with Marvel heroes, uh, you unlock new abilities, and a lot of times it can do things that you have not had the ability to do in the game. It really makes you feel more like the character. Every single character has kind of signature powers that are very unique that nobody else can do. And so even something as simple as Hulk getting mad, nobody else gets mad like the Hulk. And so that in and of itself makes sure that the characters play differently from each other. And you're not restricted to just one hero throughout your whole play experience. You're able to collect multiple heroes and play as each one of them as you go through the game. You can unlock new characters in the game, first and foremost through drops uh, by defeating different bosses. As long as we keep going, I think we'll be adding as many characters as possible. Um, it actually takes a lot of people a lot of time uh, to create these characters and to allow that quality to show through. So it's, it's a huge effort to make any character in our game. And when we're designing a power and we consider it to be done, it isn't really done and it won't be done for a while. We listen to the community, we get feedback about what we're doing, and we try and incorporate that all into game balance as we make them all as best they can possibly be. Everyone who reads the comics has a different feel about what that character should be doing or what that character should look like. And now you can take that character and make it exactly the way you want it.